Hello everyone, uh, welcome again. We are talking today about moving average, simple and exponential. Uh, this video provided by Broad Skills Company, which is the analyze department of Zero Spread. There is, uh, you can see the contact page that you can contact us via Facebook, email, or uh, WhatsApp and Telegram channel. What we're going to talk about today, uh, today we're going to learn the different categories of technical indicators, then we will talk about uh, EMA and SMA, exponential and uh, simple moving average, how to use them in our trades and technical setting. As moved, uh, also in the end, we're gonna uh, move on the live chart and see how it works in a live chart. So, as I told before, we have three kind of uh, three different categories of indica uh, technical indicators. Uh, trend following indicators like MACD, uh, ADX, moving average, which we're going to talk about that today, momentum indicator, uh, indicators, and volatilities. So, which moving average is the trend following indicator? Uh, this indicator uh, is most of the, I mean, the traders, they use it for uh, to find uh, where is the trend, is it the uptrend or downtrend, and so on. Uh, as it's categorized in the trend following category, uh, moving average can be used to identify the trends, as well as better idea about the resistance and support levels, which can help to manage our stop loss and take profit in the better positions. I mean, uh, we have two types of moving average, simple and which we call it by the short uh, letters of SMA, simple moving average, and exponential EMA. Uh, while well, both of them are based on the past price action, as most of the technical indicators, they can just help us to have a better idea about the market, and not enough uh, by them on to trade just with them. I mean, just, if you want to trade just based on what the uh, moving average tells you, it's going to be wrong. Moving average uh, by itself is very useful uh, indicator and same time it used inside of other indicators as well as like MACD moving average direction uh, moving average conversion diversion so this is in the, I mean it's by itself it's very good indicator and also as I see uh, inside of other indicators to develop other indicators they use uh, moving average as well. Uh, what's the simple moving average? It's the simple average of uh, security over the def uh, defined number of the time period, closed price, open price, based on the setting. Usually, the standard is based on the closed price. I mean, for example, the 10 days period of uh, simple moving average is the last 10 closed price. Uh, you can divide it by the 10, so it's going to give you the uh, simple moving average. Uh, what's the exponential moving average? Exponential moving average is almost like a moving average, but mostly weighted on uh, recent prices. For example, today's close price is uh, yesterday's close price is much more important than the day before, and the day before, and the day before. So the exponent, uh, exponential moving average is the mostly based on uh, recent prices. I mean, they, it gives them more weight to the recent price than uh, to the older price. So uh, this is the technical. I mean, by the, as you see here, this uh, technical and by math how the, they calculate it, which I don't think that you're gonna need it. So I mean, this, uh, just to have an idea. Uh, this is the um, setting. You can see the standard setting mostly. Uh, usually we use it on the 14 days. Some traders they use it at the 10 days as well, uh, but it's, I prefer it 14 days. I mean, 10 days is going to give you last two weeks, right? 14 days is going to give you almost last three weeks. So most some traders they they like to 10 days, some traders they like 14 days. I prefer 14 days. Um, and exponential you can choose based on the close price or open price or current price. I mean, you, you can apply based on what you want. Which is the standard again in telling is that the close price. So um, let's go to the uh, live chart and let's see how we can use them in our trades. Uh, that's USD JPY. 
So let's add um, moving average here. Uh, moving average. Uh, da, 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 where is? Okay, that's the moving average. So, this uh, the, here you can select the simple or exponential. Let's so first uh, talk about the simple moving average, then we're going to move to uh, exponential. Uh, or we can add them in the same in the same time. Let's do, for example, add the simple average moving average by the white color and add exponential moving average by which color can be fine here but for example blue right it can be seen much better uh, let's do fine yeah i think it can be so our um, white color uh, is the what the white line is the simple moving average and the blue color is exponential moving average. So let's see what's what means. I mean, uh, what they means. Let's uh, let me take um, screenshot. Oh. Okay. Oh, why well, it came here? I think. Okay, so uh, here, as you see here, the white color is the SMA, simple moving average, and the blue, which is the blue, is EMA exponential moving average as I told simple moving average is based on the, just the, the simply last period the last for for example here our setting is for 14 days last 14 days close price and exponential is uh, based on the same almost but but the, as I told it's the most weighted on uh, ex I mean recent prices that's why as you see the what the this blue color uh, most of the time is much more closer to our movement than a uh, white color as you hear when it's a downtrend the, the so for, let's see when the trend when this moving average is above this the you see moving average is above above both of them yeah uh, when it's above it means uptrend and when the moving average is under uh, under the candles which it means we are uh, sorry down when the moving average is a, when the moving average is above the candles we are we are in a downtrend and then when moving average is under candles, we are in uptrend. So this is how we can understand first of all that what's the trend. Yeah, I mean it can confirm you that uh, we can confirm by this uh, that is it downtrend or uptrend. However, as I told, the moving average is calculating based on the past prices. So it cannot tell you what's gonna be the next uh, trend. It just just what it can do is just to confirm I mean it cannot tell you for example after that right after that in 10 minutes and right in the next one hour what's going to be the, the trend but what it can tell you it can tell you that it can confirm it can help you to confirm that are we in an uptrend or downtrend so this is first of all how we can understand the trend 
The other thing which can uh, moving average can help you is to understand the setting the stop loss or take profit. For example, here is the downtrend, right? And you understand already here is a downtrend, so you're gonna exit here as a sell position. For example, you couldn't enter here. And you are right now, for example, you can enter here in a sell position where you can put your stop loss. You can put your, as long as this goes down, you can put your stop loss above moving average. Or if you entered here or here as a buy, you can put your stop loss under your moving average. So the moving average can help you to understand where to put your stop loss. That's very, which is very important. I mean, at least it can help you to uh, to have a better management in your, I mean, have a better risk management in your account. So it can help you to understand where is where you have to put your stop loss. So the moving average can help you for two things. Uh, first of all, to understand what is a trend, is an up or down. Secondly, can help you to understand. Uh, then where you can put your stop loss but where we can when we can use the that when we can use uh, the EMA and where, when we can use uh, uh, SMA let's do take another just here remember simple moving average can use for long term long period of time long period of time for trading because in a moving in a simple moving average is avoid this in calculation of the simple moving average it avoids uh, it's the, uh, the way to look at this uh, small movements which you have here i mean this recent movement they don't calculate that so that's why the simple moving average can help you based on the long-term trading mostly but if you are doing scalping or you are uh, trading uh, in a short term short terms like day trade it's better to trade with uh, like sh it's a short term like sh simple uh, exponential can help you for trade in a short time like uh, short time period like one day trading one hour uh, 30 minutes like this is the EMA for short time short period of the time and simple moving average can help you for the longer term of the page so the, what's we can use it for first of all for trend to identify where is the trend second to find stop loss Third, it help you for to, uh, it help you it help us to understand the I mean important things that we need to know. First thing we need to know that we can use it for trending. Second, we can use it to find our stop loss. And the third thing we need to know that the simple average, simple uh, moving average, is for the short term, and exponential moving average is for the trade in a long term. Okay. Um, so this is just mostly information it was about what's the moving average and how we can use it but uh, we will have special uh, video about that uh, special I mean, strategies uh, moving average strategy how we can exactly use and based on the moving average how, how we can treat uh, if you have any question make sure you can contact us with uh, to our website tradeproskills.com or facebook page uh, telegram channel or whatever is fine for you and we're gonna get back to you uh, as soon as it's possible or you can write a comment in the uh, our video in the YouTube thank you so much and safe trade bye